and true predictability. The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Did I get delivered here? Somebody tell me, please. So Day parade and immediately turning around once we got there. No, it's not. Definitely, favorite memory definitely has to be going all the way to the city this year to come <laughs> all the way back. My, my favorite part of that was seeing Greg See, go eight that, and just go, funny, that, that's and just, my and just least just favorite freak out. <laughs> <laughs> that's when Greg lost his mind briefly. No, yeah. <laughs> That he's, he's, like, he's like, all right, guys, the rain starts at 11, and we're going to be there at 11. So if we get there and it's raining, we're going home. <laughs> I'm like, it's going to be raining. I'm like, let's just not go. He's like, nah, nah. No, we're like, going, we're going. We, we got to go. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, God, yes, I'm on The day of Nismo Majors, um, Mr. Crace pulled me aside and told me how the judges thought I did really well, and I filled in for a symphonic for a solo and the judges complimented me and he made me cry and told me I should continue in college so I don't forget anything and don't lose um, touch. So. That. I like Columbus Day because it's cool marching in the city and just having like everyone watch us and cheer us on. We feel like celebrities, so it's kind of awesome. My favorite band memory is uh, band day when we were playing uh, Oh, Katana and tear the roof off the sucker. Oh. And he's like, and over and over, he said, when the click track comes, it's Katana. And we're going around in the circle, and he cues for the click track, and tear the roof off the sucker is played by half the band. He, he goes, just no! freaking shucks them. He, he shucks the board, he throws the board, and throws it no, on the ground. No. The crazy is just like, stop, stop. Takes his clipboard, slams it <laughs> to the ground, papers go everywhere. He's like, holy mackerel! <laughs> and then he just starts like ranting off on us and just like yells at us like it will sound like good 10 minutes. Everybody got water! That's it! You start screaming. <laughs> and, then, and then James Corey and Megan like just look yeah, at Yeah, that's it. They just start scattering around. They start picking up the papers. Around, <laughs> the papers. Picking up the paper. uh, my fondest memory. <laughs> Back in the day when Nolan, <laughs> Nolan was with us, part of the drum, drum majors, drum line. Oh, I love him so much. Anyway. Bless his heart. <laughs> anyway. He's not God dead. God bless He's him. He's not dead. <laughs> so, me and him are talking. We walk into each other. We're in the percussion section. We look dead in each other's eyes, longingly. And then he says, rub my belly. And I go, you want to pull my finger? <laughs> so, I rub his belly. He pulls my finger. I burp. I turn over and Chris is there. Like, <laughs> what? And having it rain on the morning. Every we year. haven't done it yet. Yeah. Roy Vivo's speech. Oh, yeah. For Ban Banquet Cabinet. That was by far one of the funniest things we've ever seen him do. And then speech. Grace. Grace's response to that was just hilarious. It was like, I forgot exactly what happened, but he literally just stands up and goes, Roy, thank you. And like, walks to his office. <laughs> yeah. He just gets he up and walks to his office. Out. What? Kind of memory? Yeah. Brennan in the back of the room. <laughs> Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yo, cough, daddy. Give me five. I need to take a whiz. <laughs> we were doing band day in 10th grade, and I was just a scared 10th grader, and we were all getting up, and we were lining up to uh, do the field rehearsal, and I was on the other side of the sideline, and James Corey was on the other side of the sideline, and he gets the megaphone up, and he goes, James, get over here! Looks me dead in the eye, goes, watch this. Sprint! <laughs> and James ran so fast he dropped every paper in his head. <laughs> Wait, who's that? Crazy. Crazy. Oh. I always like when I, I walk in in the morning and I go, uh, good 
morning, Mr. Craze. And I like sing it to him. <laughs> and he's just like, no. <laughs> Uh, I, like the, I like the classic holy mackerel, <laughs> especially when he throws the clipboard. And he's like, <laughs> what are you doing? Are the best, we're coming in. He's like, holy mackerel! Holy mackerel! Holy mackerel! Holy mackerel! Holy mackerel! Horns! Soaring horns! That's a, that's a scary experience. Yeah, when he's staring at you directly in the eye, and his face is red. And it's just screaming at you for more horror. The thing was, I know he always does that like eagle thing. And I think my favorite thing was in like 10th grade when we played All Glory Told. And at the end, the horns just had this like high like G or something like that. And he was just like, I want soaring horns. It has to be like an eagle. And he's like, ready, go. And they were like, oh. And he was like, and then like fell onto the ground. He's like, you're soaring, you're falling, and you're dead. Yeah, and he come out there, he's just in the middle. He'll always go. Yes, he's soaring. <laughs> soaring. 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 You a senior yet? Yeah. Yes. Uh, you're a senior? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, check this tempo. It'd be like 120, and it'd be exactly on like every time. And then like some something happens. Something happens. Like halfway through 11th grade, oh, and he'd yeah. be like, check this. It's like 120. Like that's no. it's like 260. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ah! He's like, it's not there. Rehearsal, and he was like, you just have to remember your fingerings. Like you have to look at the fingering chart and have a photographic memory like this. <laughs> like, 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 like his eyes were taking a picture. <laughs>staring he's staring down at the music you know he he's completely lost in his score he doesn't know where he is something wrong just... happens he gets real close <laughs> four three two one no, no, no. no, one wins hard... saxophone not saxophone one wins <laughs> he shares his um cut up vegetables with me he only said it a couple times in pit but just when he goes Would somebody please shut that door just for like no reason oh yeah he's always walking around the hallway you know like <laughs> And it's like a 50-50 whether he'll say hi to you or not. Yeah. That's <laughs> on the moody's in. <laughs> when someone talks and he will give you the death stare. We cannot talk about Kaufman without his Crocs. <laughs> that part of the musical, the Crocs, every day. Just Crocs. He comes in with Crocs. Just comes in with Crocs every day. And it's a different color every day. <laughs> and it's Crocs. And it's Crocs. Crocs. Reference to uh, <laughs> that perfect ratio to brownie and like dog poop. It's like, all right, uh, measure 33, we're one, two, ready to go. <laughs> the story about the hamster? Yeah, the hamster. Yeah, the hamster tree. like flying into the tree. Throwing the hamster against the tree. That is the worst playing I've ever heard in my no, no, life! Guys, guys. <laughs>
That's why you made Austin. Yeah, marching. I'm gonna miss marching a lot. Yeah. Actually, have a good time, color guard. I'll, I'll miss Mr. Cray's throwing his clipboards. Throw, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Throw them. I don't know. I don't know who would ask like, me to do squats every time, but I just never was going to. <laughs> hey, Craig, like, come do guys... squats with the sousaphone. Dude, look, at, look at me. <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> What does my mommy think when she sees yeah. this? <laughs> Dylan wouldn't win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What kind of ducks are we talking? Are they aggressive ducks? Or ducks, yeah. Mallard ducks. You know, those are pretty mediocre sized ducks. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You gotta take it. They're ducks! Dylan killed our dog. Wait, can you repeat it? Now, wait. Are we going by the weight of the duck? Or the height of the duck? <laughs> Ducks. <laughs> <laughs> the ducks. Definitely the ducks. Definitely the ducks. Just crush him. Duck, duck wins. I guess, I guess duck wins. Yeah. Dylan size ducks. <laughs> I gotta go with the thousand little Dylans. Thousand. Yeah, probably a bunch of small little Dylans, because they probably stack on top of each other and then become like maybe like three or four Dylan sized ones. I'm gonna have to go with the little Dylans. Give me a thousand of those, baby. I'll take over your country in a day. Ten Dylan sized ducks. I think the the thousand duck sized Dylans. Closing thoughts. Um, practice. <laughs> Enjoy it while it lasts. It goes by so fast. Yeah. It really does. Yeah. I'd say band is like a home. I'm definitely gonna happens. miss this, these four years went by quick. I'm definitely gonna miss it. Was it. Quick. Yeah. yeah, just like stay in yeah. band. Stay it's stay work. in band. Yeah. Exactly. Don't, work, don't drop work. out. My closing thoughts for the the younger kids is find a better place to go eat after the concerts. Because the Atlantis <laughs> Diner is overpriced for crap food. My dad. Freshman, but, uh, savor every second that you're in band because the time will fly and you'll be a senior before you know it. If you hear something in the percussion section fall, nine times out of ten, it's yeah. chunk. <laughs> uh, don't take anything Coffin says to you to heart because he probably means well. <laughs> probably. Well, definitely shout out to Grace for you. Know. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be involved in all the musicals and every extracurricular activity to does with the auditorium or bands or music in general. No. My cloak with my grace will miss you. As we say farewell to band, we are left with the unforgettable relationships and memories that we've forged over the last four years. Each and every one of us has learned valuable lessons from Mr. Kaufman and Mr. Crace, who have helped to mold us into the young men and women that we are today. Without their undying guidance and support, there is no way we could have attained the success that we did. Goodbyes are never easy, and saying goodbye to this band program is especially bittersweet. It is safe to say that we will never forget our time spent in the West Islip High School Band. Goodbye from the class of 2018.